John Deere 316, if you can see that over there on my phone, I'm gonna see. A gentleman had asked me, very cool guy, if I uh, would uh, help him get this beastie running again. So after a lot of troubleshooting, um, I determined that the ignition module is part of the problem. Uh, easiest thing to get to. Now, if you got a stubborn flywheel, um, the screws are 516ths, if I remember. And I got over here with this already. I know my garage is absolutely packed full of crap. Uh, so uh, I went to the local Ace Hardware and you can see I kind of crooked that one up. It was, it was hard. Uh, I did leave the bolt in as the uh, manual states you should do this is a um this is uh oh yeah lifetime warranty until you bend it up uh i guess the part number is w150 cat 4 uh, this is uh you know, an all right kit, but I had to, like I said, go up to the Ace and buy some 5 sixteenths. Uh, these are three inch uh, threaded uh, bolts to put in there. And if you got a stubborn one, oh, a little WD-40 in here, and then just rotate the, uh, you know, the flywheel until uh, it lubricates the inside of the that and that's uh i was getting ready to break out the heat but thankfully uh it decided to give up the ghost here he had some uh i don't know if you can see it there but he had some issues with some rodents there's some fiberglass uh woven in here that happens quite frequently um that's what they call a box of parts or a uh Ooh, I'm surprised this baby ran at all. So it might have been, might have been more than just the, uh, just the flywheel. We're gonna set this down here, and we have to put all this stuff out of the way. Holy Hannah! So I guess we're gonna spend quite a bit of time trying to, trying to go ahead and clean this up here. I don't feel like replacing a stator on this as well. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to pull the stator. Um, I'll clean that up real good. We'll see if you can see there's, we're gonna have to talk to him because you can see there's just, uh, you know, there's was some rodent issues there. I have a feeling that this this actually might've been a, a good uh, ignition module, but the, the critters, you know, they wanna find their way into the, the tightest, smallest place to go ahead and set up a little nest and uh that's what happened here you know and I, the gentleman bought this uh used the interesting part is i definitely do believe this was a part before because uh, this had a locking washer on the bottom of it and i'm sorry on the on the bottom of the motor mount and this one uh did not so initially when i met up with him i thought it was a starter the unfortunate part about these onan motors even though they're cool old machines that do a lot of work um wheel horse rotates it so that the flywheels on the outside you can work on stuff uh they're belt driven um this is a shaft driven unit so i mean you know there is a little bit of a difference uh in how this goes the unfortunate part is, is you literally have to take the entire exterior off you have to take you know you don't have to take all the heat shields off but uh it just is easier that way uh to take the heat shields off and like i said you know when you let them sit for a while the rodents and the critters get in here i'm gonna have to try to wheel this out into the driveway into the yard uh the motor is too heavy unfortunately for me to pick up uh at least by myself there are there are uh hooks that that are in here you can take i mean the easiest way to do it for me is take a take a, a bar i take a, you know like a one inch bar uh black steel bar or whatever and then uh 
wrap some rope around it or uh, ratchet ties and then get somebody else to help me, but I don't have anybody else to help me right now. So, uh, but I want to roll this out and kind of clean up the bottom as well. Uh, I know I quote him at four hours. I'm just, he just told me to go all in and do what I got to do. So we'll go over this really well and get it cleaned up as best as we can. And then we'll talk about rodent prevention and keeping the rodents out of your, uh, your equipment. So, uh, have a happy uh, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. A couple weeks now. Mainly troubleshooting uh, in between my uh, busy schedule. From the beginning, I kind of, I mean, I already knew it was an ignition issue from the beginning. And the unfortunate part is that um, in my troubleshooting, I found a couple things that were, were kind of going on here doesn't help if you can see the rodents have kind of woven in some fiberglass and uh, <clears throat> I uh, was after this flywheel for uh, this gentleman uh, the owner motor is a great motor uh, very cool old school twin cylinder horizontal twin the unfortunate part is for this on the John Deere setups in order to go ahead and remove this unit. I should say remove the flywheel to do anything with the ignition system. You have to pull the entire motor. You have to pull all the skins. You have to pull the hood, everything. So uh, what I will tell you is in my experience, um, the easiest way to do this is to actually pull the, pull the uh, bolts out of the hood and then grab the hood by itself. And then when you come back to it, there are two half inch, uh, half inch bolts for this here. And what I do to go ahead and access that, if I, well, just pretend this is a ratchet. You slip the ratchet in through the back and the side and uh, you can get enough uh, clearance on that to go ahead and get these. Um, Removing the skins just kind of helped me see what was going on underneath, uh, or I should say the uh, the heat shields just helped me to see what was going on underneath uh, underneath this mess. Because what I was really concerned about was the uh, rodent damage. The, there's some there's some wiring damage here. This runs down into uh, your oil pressure sensor, so this could be part of the problem too. Uh, we're gonna rewire that up and see if we can reroute that differently it was uh either rubbed against here at one point or whatever but you can you can see that's that's rubbed all the way through so i mean uh tested the ignition module as well but uh that failed you know according to what the the uh, the manufacturer what onan has in their uh in their books for testing but uh that all failed too i kind of think that the rodents as you as you see here uh We'll, uh, I'll pull this flywheel off. I used a uh, puller from uh, Advanced Auto. Uh, I've had this around for a little while. I had to go to, uh, to Ace to get some 5 sixteenths by 3 inch uh, bolts there to uh, give me a little bit more uh, leverage, number one, and to also, uh, you know, actually thread into the uh, where you have your drive shaft at. Um, I started by pulling the drive shaft. I actually started by pulling the tents here. I pulled the seat because underneath the seat, uh, the gentleman had uh, said that he had just replaced the seat, and that was kind of where he noticed the problem was becoming more prevalent, I guess. Uh, but I think that was just coinky dink because uh, the seat was uh, terminated. Uh, he had terminated the seat here, but I actually think that the safety logic board here is part of the problem as well so uh, when all the gates are closed uh, this allows the uh, the unit to actually transmit a signal electrical signal to the ignition module so that the unit will fire and run uh, the only thing this does is like I said it, it is a it is a safety gate um, after the completed circuit has been closed uh, as far as like your your uh, your safety for your seat, older or uh, newer units that break safety switches, uh, your safety for your PTO, um, things like that. Uh, this unit would close 
uh, or I should say uh, open so that the uh, uh, the electric wouldn't flow back out to uh, the starter or the ignition system um, <clears throat> and then uh, once that like once that's uh, once that whole circuit's completed it allows you to uh, to, to run electric through the uh, through the AC or the uh, ignition module there uh, unfortunately uh, looking at the back of this now I this is just flux that I had on here because I actually already fluxed the uh, the capacitor out of there that was uh, that was uh, popped you can kind of see there's a wrinkle on that I think you can see there's a wrinkle on that let me grab my phone make sure that you can see that that wrinkles in there of course you know I don't know if we can see this apparently we can't see this whatever so hopefully you can see the little wrinkles all around that but I imagine that doesn't doesn't provide a whole lot of continuity for uh, for the unit the capacitor that was uh, damaged or looked damaged was down here uh, and and I'm gonna have to talk to the gentleman to see what he wants to do because uh, this logic controller I mean this uh, yeah I think they call it a, it's a it's a safety I forget what they call it but uh, it's you know just like I said it just it's a it's a safety gate uh, I'm sure that if I dig around here enough it's probably not hard to terminate out maybe there's some information out on the interwebs that uh, I can find in the confuse later uh, this was the uh, starter wire you know nice ring on that so we'll put a ring on that <clears throat> now if you have problems pulling this uh, flywheel as I did a uh, little WD-40 in there uh, and then just rotate rotate the flywheel and uh, it will give up it's ghosted at that point so um, <clears throat> the unfortunate part here is that the uh, stator is absolutely jammed packed with debris now part of that looks like a little bit of a weep or blow by but I'm not going to mess with gaskets and stuff like that because that's not what we're here for we're gonna pull the stator off though um, While we're at it, while we're moving our lips, and I'm going to try to wheel this whole unit out into the uh, yard at some point later today and give it a little bit further of a bath because it is absolutely gross. And I know there's there's not a whole lot, like I can't even figure out what size that is. Uh, da 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 da, da five sixteenths. Yoba.